Lee from the Dutchman's Journal, and today's project is to take this Cushlin cement mixer and convert it to a compost screening machine, yet maintain the integrity of the unit so that when I want to use it as a concrete mixer again, that I can easily take it apart, reassemble it, and put it back to its original functional use. So let's get started and see how this project works out. First I'm going to remove the safety shield from the back. I've loosened the bolts and to just pop that off. And now you can see the the drum itself is held on by these bolts here which I'll just loosen. I removed all the bolts in the back that held the drum on and then there's a set screw that holds this collar and I'm going to part pop that apart and the whole thing should in fact separate. So there it is. The uh, drum has been removed. It pops apart very easily. There's the top of the uh, drum for the cement mixer. Okay here's the barrel uh, that I'm going to use to attach to the unit. I'm going to fasten it back on to that plate. And so the next step is to uh, line up the holes and bolt that on proper, so that it so that it could be bolted on properly. Okay, I'm going to use the gear drive plate as my template in order to drill the holes into the back of my uh, barrel. However, I noticed how close this gear is to the barrel itself, where when it was on the mixer there was quite a space so that the drive gear if I can just come over here and show you so that the drive gear here had space to move. Now I'll, I might be able to adjust this or put spacers in here. I'm gonna try it first if not we'll have to redo it but that's why this is a project. So the first thing is uh, to take the plate Lay it on top of the barrel, line it up properly, and drill the appropriate holes in it. In order to uh, line the plate up properly, I used a compass on the ends to make sure that the distance was right. Unfortunately, when they make these barrels, they don't necessarily, when they're cast, because they're hot, they're not always perfectly round. So we're going to be as close as we can just to eliminate the wobbling as much as we can. Okay, I drilled out all the holes and the center hole. Now, just want to check. The shaft has no problem going through that. Make it easier. I made it a little larger to make it easier to line it up. Okay, what I had to do here is I had to put in a spacer washer because the gear drive over here was hitting the drum and so it just gave me enough tolerance here in order for this to spin freely I hope so let's go ahead and flip it and see if it works it appears to me that uh, it's running fine of course the barrel will out of shape, but that's okay. Uh, it really doesn't matter. So let's put it all together. So now I got it all bolted back together again. Flip the switch, and it's spinning just fine. Next, I'll go ahead and attach the safety shield to uh, replace that. Now the safety shield's replaced, and I'm ready to go ahead and figure out how I'm going to attach the screening inside and make my cutout so that the material will fall through the screening. Okay, I've laid out the uh, areas that I'm going to cut out to open this up to put the screening in and I'm going to have it divided into thirds. Each leg, support leg in between will be about two and a half inches wide and the opening will be about 14 inches so I'm going to go ahead and drill holes in 
each one of the corners and then I'll use my skill saw to uh, cut it out. Okay, I've cut the holes in each one of the corners. That way when I cut it out, it'll be easy just to round with my saw to the next area. I've cut out and removed uh, one of the panels and it's uh, actually worked out exactly the way I want it, so I'll remove the next two panels. All three panels are now cut out. And you can see what it looks like before we put the wire screening in. Let's just turn this on to see how it's going to work. Looks fine to me. I've slid the uh, quarter inch wire mesh screening inside of the uh, unit and I'm going to go ahead and mark it. I'm going to mark it a little large and cut it and uh, replace it and fasten it and we'll see how it works. I've cut three pieces of pine for legs that will slide into the tube and then I'll attach them to the legs of the drum. I'm going to leave the excess uh, wire on the outside for now. I might cut it off later. Just going to see if I can take advantage of that extra 9 or 10 inches I have there. So I'm going to go ahead and install these legs. So here's the final construction of this unit. With the screening inside, the legs on there. I just let the the uh, screws stick out through there. They'll either wear down, which I probably won't. Stuff will get stuck to it. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter at all. Let's turn it on, see how it rotates. Okay, I'm going to take it out to my compost area and uh, give it a test. I've temporarily set up the screening machine and let me show you what I'm trying to accomplish. This here is my leaf shredded compost. It's just magnificent compost. It's a combination of leaves and uh, organic matter from uh, the composting of the vegetables from inside the house, the greens from inside the house. And then I have a team over here which has, because of the temperature, I've decided to go in hiding, which I can't blame them. But uh, they are my team composters and I bring in leaves to them uh, that I gather from the woods that have insects and different things growing in there and I throw them in their pen and they go ahead and root through it, remove the insects, chew up different things, then they defecate in it, and then I go clean up their coop, put it into a wheelbarrow, and I bring it over here to my compost area. I dump it there, let it age for a while. After that, I was hand sifting it into a wheelbarrow. Well, let me show you uh, what I used to do, and let me show you what we're gonna do now. This is the old technique. Screen over the wheelbarrow. Scoop up a shovel of material. Back and forth. That's a good job. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just very time friendly. Damp, then it takes longer to do because it press all the way through. But just to quickly show you what I had. There it is. This is great stuff. It's brown gold as far as I'm concerned. 
Now let me show you how the new system works. This is, like I say, this is temporary. You make some noise. And now I just scoop up the shovel with this. Put it in the over there. Alright, this is the debris pile left from cleaning out the inside of the cage. And then this is not this is not something that I'm gonna throw away. I'm gonna pick it back up and then put it back into the chicken coop, let them root through it again, uh, put in greens along with it, let them go ahead and tear into that. They'll be putting their droppings in there and just making more and more organic material for my garden. Now this is just the beginning of showing you uh, what I'm doing here. I started this homestead up in uh, August or actually September of 2015 and uh, we've made major gains out here but I've got a long way to go. A lot more things to document. Uh, my various gardens that I've grown out here in uh, on tree stumps uh, that I think people will be very interested in uh, how I've ta taken a part of the woods and made it into a garden area. There's my uh, cattle panel uh, greenhouse and of course uh, with the chickens I, I guess you saw the uh, cattle panel chicken coop and uh, there will be more cattle panel items going on around here that's for sure because they're a great multi-purpose use for them. So uh, if you subscribe to the channel, uh, we'll be updating you with all sorts of information. There will definitely be an update on the uh, screening machine that I made here. Uh, I'm going to make it so that it's more practical to use. Like I say, this is just temporary. So have a good day and hope to see you in the future. Bye-bye.